Welcome to Brainerd International Raceway. We're good. I started racing when I was like 15 years old. You know, I had a race car before I was able to drive it. So I won my first championship in 1975. Just about everything we ever raced, we won championships in and set track records. This is a huge day for professional race car driver Tommy Archer. He's back behind the wheel after a three-year detour, one that had him wondering if he'd ever find his way back to the track, or perhaps had even come to the end of the road. I first saw uh, Mr. Archer uh, back in uh, 2012 when he was first diagnosed with an aggressive form of prostate cancer. Actually, I never felt anything from the beginning. It was basically just a blood test that they took and they saw elevated PSA count which stands for prostate specific antigen, which is a protein that's actually secreted into the blood system by the prostate. And it can be abnormally elevated for numerous reasons. One of those reasons is the body's response to cancer in the prostate, which is a small male gland positioned beneath the bladder. It's a diagnosis one in seven men will hear in their lifetimes, often tipped off as Tommy was, when rising PSA levels are found in a blood test. We thought it was contained inside the prostate, but it actually had spread. He had two malignancies. He had two different types of prostate cancer. He, has, he had a very aggressive type that formed a large mass and extended outside the prostate and involved surrounding structures. Mayo Clinic urologic oncology surgeon Dr. Igor Frank removed Tommy's two cancerous tumors in a robotically assisted, minimally invasive procedure. He had good response to therapy initially but eventually his PSA started to elevate. Which meant Tommy's cancer wasn't completely gone and still posed a serious threat. But for me as a person, not knowing what's going on, every night you go to bed, you're thinking there's a Pac-Man inside you, but you don't know where. But he's gonna get me if we don't get him first. So he's put on hormone therapy and a no number of other medications uh, to basically try to control his prostate cancer. Urologic surgeon and cancer researcher Dr. Eugene Kwan says while hormones do suppress the testosterone that drives prostate cancer growth, men often hate the side effects like weight gain and a risk for brittle bones. You have lethargy, uh, malaise, sometimes you have depression. Just the fact that if I took the medicine for uh, depression, I couldn't drive a race car. So after nearly two years, Tommy Archer, the race car driver, wanted his life back. He and his team of Mayo Clinic doctors agreed to take a chance and bring his cancer out of hiding. To make a long story short, we elected to go ahead and take Mr. Archer off of his medications. Within a month, Tommy's PSA levels were on the rise again, which meant his cancer was growing once again. And Dr. Kwan said to me, he says, we've now let the beast out of the cage. We've got to figure out where he's at. To do that, they turned to an FDA-approved technology Mayo Clinic helped to develop and refine, the use of C11 choline as a radioactive marker for cancer cells. Because this dye has a half-life of less than 30 minutes, it has to be manufactured right on site. We have the only C11 choline PET scanner that's approved in Western Hemisphere. C11 choline is a isotope that has been attached to a molecule called choline. Choline is a natural nutrient present in all mammal cells, but some, like kidney, liver, and spleen cells, carry much higher concentrations. So do cancer cells. And so they put me in the MRI tube, they put the solution in me, and the next day they showed me the screen and there was a bright red dot. Bright as a light bulb. So sure enough, we see a very small bright spot in the pelvis. It's picking up the choline. With Tommy's remaining cancer no longer invisible, urologic oncology surgeon Dr. Jeffrey Carnes was able to remove the last stubborn tumor. And since that operation, Mr. Archer has had a PSA that's dropped to zero. And basically, at least at this point in time, we would regard him as being free of disease and potentially cured. This guy saved my life. Although he didn't treat Tommy directly, Chair of the Mayo Clinic Urology Department, Dr. Brad Leibovich, a part-time race car driver himself, even turned out to cheer Tommy on. I've been a fan of his for decades. I thought it'd be nice if he had some of the Mayo family up here to support him for his comeback. The driver of the number 54, C3 Control Chevrolet Camaro, is Tommy Archer.
Quite a comeback indeed. With the fastest qualifying time, Tommy won the pole position and ended up on the podium with a second place finish. Some of the crew members, they left their dark glasses on because they were crying. I wasn't sure that I could ever race again, but it was really cool inside to feel how good it was to be back. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Doda.